My son was working that week in uh, Maiden Lane, and uh, he came home with his, like with many of the young people, with his shirt wrapped around his head. And he took, I forget how many hours, he stayed in the building Maiden Lane, but even making his way out took hours more. I was uh, on the Upper East Side driving to uh, a college in New Jersey, crossed the bridge roughly about the time that the towers were hit. When I reached the college, with a certainty, we understood that uh, that had happened. So I've tried a few, few poems. I've probably written ten or a dozen poems. I don't like any of these poems. They all seem to fail. I have one here about suffering, but that one bothers me more than any other. So I'm not going to write that poem about suffering. I'm going to try this other one, uh, a little less uh, demanding. It's called, uh, you'll, you'll understand what the clarity of this poem gets to. Last conf the Last Conflagration. A driving collision into the tower. Then suddenly, the enormous growth of two balloons. Here are two shimmering spheres of fire, said the balloon man. All for you, little boy. And indeed, the little boy could not be suppressed. At every replay of the TV, the fiery balloons grow to a human size. And within each is a spark. To see such spherical balls join the parallelograms of the tower. It is a terrible cosmic geography lesson. And now, children, we have this flaming ball of gasoline with what Extraordinary beauty, it burns and expands. And all the irrelevancies of human tragedy and death are refocused by the child's eye, which will not shut, which will not shut, As, I'm sorry, which will not shut. The cosmic fire show imposing its ghastly form, straight plane of building, an expanding circle of fire. Euclid had taught us about such fire, and Plato had confirmed him that all reality is mathematical, with examples admittedly less spectacular, and would have been stunned and overwhelmed by the blackboard we had witnessed this morning. Though, of course, we have had several such blackboard interventions. The classic mushroom of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, rising forever in our imaginations, with a thrilling beauty and a cold, sober understanding, almost defying our capacity to understand it, that all this beauty yet contained within it the horrifying incineration of a quarter million people. And even more horrifying, and the even more horrifying dismissal of them as we turn spontaneously to applaud such mass death and the great victory it had brought us. Thank you.